Hi guys, welcome to this quick review about this TP-Link AV2000 pass-through power link network extender or here we have even a kit and especially what I'm going to explain or talk about in this video is to compare the AV2000 with the AV1000 which is the old thing has a little bit uh, lower throughput but it's a huge difference regarding what we get and uh, regarding possibilities and everything so it's definitely worth to look in, into that a little bit more in detail so we get two of these devices actually one is still plugged in but i think it's enough to show you one we get a quick installation guide we get two cables uh, normal ethernet cables and regarding the installation it's really very easy so first you plug in the one where you have the internet from that's usually the router which you get from your internet service provider you hook up one of these cables here connect it with this one here and you plug it in into a normal uh, 110 volts outlet something like that imagine this would be the wall outlet and so we plug it in and then we get some power we get a green light and so again we hook this up here in one of these uh, ethernet ports here to the internet service provider router and then we go to the location where you need the internet and plug in the other device in in the same way and then connect it with the ethernet cable let's say to your computer laptop or your camera or whatever you have so then the internet is going into this device and going through the 110 volts and then into this device and then into this wire and then into the device which you uh, where you need the internet and to connect is very easy if you want to build a new uh, network like you buy this two set you get two of these devices you have both plugged in and then you go to the first one you push this button here it will start blinking then you go to the other one and then within two minutes you push here again and then they will automatically connect to each other and build some kind of a network this network is protected and after that nobody else or no other network uh, item will be able to uh, interfere or like uh, listen to what data is going from left to right or right to left that's really good and if you have already one let's say that's your older network and it's still plugged in you can go here to the old one one of the network adapters from your old uh, network you push here and within two minutes you have to push on the uh, new adapter and, and it will connect then to the old one and this is how it goes very very easy so you don't have to download an app you don't have to really connect to these devices it all works just with these uh, two buttons here and i can tell you these things really are working good i have already bought a couple of these devices or very similar ones like older ones which have a little bit slower speed like the AV200, AV500, that's the AV1200, that's the AV2000 and they are uh, fully compatible with uh, each other, that's really good. So I go only with the TP-Link and whenever they come out with a new device, I'm going to buy it and connect it to the old network or replace some adapters to have more speed and more reliable network. Then regarding the differences here between the uh, 2000 model and the 1000 200 model and you can see the 2000 is much thicker it's heavier it's larger but it has of course more functions what we have this throughput here and i think this is a huge upgrade this path through power here so you can hook up anything like every uh, 110 volts device here so let's say again we hook this up to the wall outlet and then you can add some devices here then like light or your computer or other things what's not so much recommended is to have things in parallel like hook up things here or especially not in the, in the same outlet like here uh, because this could then interfere so that's the reason why we have this thing so everything which we have which we, everything which needs power at the same outlet we put here and not uh, in any place here 
but we see also some disadvantage because this thing is really large and it interferes a little bit with these outlets here. Of course you could say yeah it's anyway it's not intended to use this thing at the same time but it's definitely also not possible. We could use this one and this one but it actually blocks four of them here. With the old one it was a little bit different. You can see we had still four available. This is much more smaller but it didn't have like this pass through thing. So at the end of the day I would say this has still Still a huge advantage because everything which goes through here doesn't interfere with the data which it consumes and go in here and this is not just like in the specs or in the listing or, or in the ads this is really working I mean I have tried this already and I can tell you this is a huge increase unfortunately not so much regarding the speed I would say in real life I mean, it's uh, impossible, basically impossible to get 2000 megabits or 2 gigabits with such adapters here. Uh, that's usually not going to happen unless you have it really side by side, probably on the same outlet. What I get in my case is around maybe 20 megabits or 30 megabits upload and download. I still have a ping of uh, 39, which at the end of the day allows me to do some nice gaming. I had with this one here, I had huge problems with gaming. I mean, it has nothing to do probably with this adapter, but I have so many devices plugged in everywhere in my home and probably a lot of devices which are causing some interference and then it can be a huge advantage when you have some advanced device which can filter out all these problems and this is definitely doing a much better job and I really can tell you with this device it was at the end uh, almost impossible to do some gaming especially I'm playing Rocket League and Rocket League is very picky regarding the network and as soon as you have some delay some network lags the game is uh, totally complaining it's almost impossible to play and I plugged this in yesterday and I was playing and I didn't get any network problem indicated the whole game and before it was almost impossible to play a single game with this thing here there were so many lags so many problems and definitely a huge improvement with this thing. I was expecting some improvement, but uh, this thing really blew me away difference. But I have to tell you, yeah, one thing as well regarding the lights. Here we have usually lights here, green lights. We want to have green lights and everything is good. We have one light here for the power, the other one for the... Uh, like the home network which is indicating that it's, it's connected to uh, some other devices here like some other power line network and the other one is indicating that we have connection to the computer and so we want to have everything green but with this device or in general I think with all the devices of TP-Link there were also some other colors not only green but yellow and uh, orange or even red when the communication was not good and usually I had just green for a couple of seconds and then after that it turned into yellow or even red indicating that the connection is very, really bad. When I plug this in here or both of them, of course I have two devices which came in this kit and after I hooked them up and connected to each other I had three green lights and no yellow and no, uh, no orange, no red, no nothing and I thought oh wow that's perfect they have perfect connection. But uh, when I looked it up here in the instructions, the instructions are saying, yeah, there is either green or nothing. The, this new device doesn't have any yellow or red indicating that the connection is not so good. So either you have green or you have nothing. When you have nothing, okay, you don't have any connection, but it doesn't really tell you how good the connection is. But at, at the end of the day, of course, it was better than the old one, much better. What we also have, we have two Ethernet outlets here, so you can hook up two of devices without adding another router or network switch or something like that. Here we had just one, and maybe one last thing. When you plug these things in, I mean, especially I'm talking about these things here, when you uh, plug them in on both sides, connect them, everything is good, you get a green light, you think, okay, you're ready to use the internet. For me, it didn't work for about five or 10 minutes. I don't know why. 
I had it connected with the Ethernet cable here to my computer on the other side to the Internet Service Provider router and I should have had internet but my PC said no there's nothing uh, didn't even show like Ethernet uh, or wired connection and so I let it sit there for five minutes or ten minutes and after that it detected finally the wired connection via the internet connection and it used it and it worked really good so if you are just hooking it up and it doesn't work just give it some time maybe do a, like a reboot of your PC or so maybe also could work and again I'm really happy with this thing especially with this one so I'll put down the link of this one here down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time